Hello everybody and welcome to the Learn Dota 2 League Season 17 Week 2. Having the replay bug again, starting one big in. Mac and Cheese, Blade Fury Burgers, Hollywood Wizard Game 2. Last time, Hollywood team got walked all over even though Wizard had an awkward stand-in that made them change the positions around a lot. This time, everybody's selling Hollywood stocks as fast as possible. I mean... A lot of that was just because Matt was on such an unfortunate hero. I mean, both Matt and Carp were on pretty... On heroes that weren't, like, heroes they had played much. So, let's see if that turns around this time. With me, as always, the Dr. Dota Randy. With me, as always, the Dr. Dota Randy. With me... Uh, hello, as hello, well, there hello, we go. Back. And, uh, you know, you don't always have to say it like that. You can always just pretend nothing happened and just commentate you normally. And, uh... Everyone must know. There we go. Let's get into it. Ban strategy changes a little bit on Hollywood lineup here. Last time he was banning out a bunch of wizard heroes, which ironically did not help him out at all, as wizard was not playing his usual position. Now that Wizard is playing his usual position again, suddenly it's a lot of Ice Heroes getting knocked out. Yep, the Ice Necro. He's, uh, he's really hyped for us to see this game. There's a... I like the Necro Respect Ban, since there is approximately 0% chance Wizard runs it back a second time in this game. I'm gonna run the Abaddon back, which is interesting. I don't think the Abaddon did great in the last game, and he is not inspiring against the Spirit Breaker. Could turn it around, who knows. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. But honestly, if I see that I'm Blade Fury Burger, so they could just say okay and ignore it. Unfortunately. I think I would uh maybe like to see the old classic Majwani Night Stalker here instead, or at least you know, just pick the Pit Lord here, right? Like you know, the Pit Lord is not as good as he used to be, but he's nowhere near bad, and we've seen him pull some good games on it, right? You have tried the Abaddon, didn't really work, this is a worse looking Abaddon game, try something else. What do you think? First pick of every game, what can I tell you? There you go. They're calling the bluff, Majwani's running it back, actually, just banned out the Night Stalker, and they banned out the Timber Saw, which... I don't think Carp is crazy enough to try and take mid after uh, after the last game. I think Carp's going to try and play it safe, if anything, after the last game. VS coming up. That's something Spirit Breaker is that thrilled to see. I mean, Spirit Breaker can personally bully the VS. He's personally food for... Uh, or she's personally food for him, but Five seconds, really? in a non-one-on-one -on -one matchup, uh, VS can ruin Spirit Breaker's life pretty easily, I think. Just an awkward swap at the wrong time is going to really confuse what he likes to do. Run him back to the helicopter. Curry Spirit's son's going to be happy. Didn't feel like, I mean, it felt like it had a pretty decent lane phase. Didn't feel like, uh, it was much of a star roll after that. Ten seconds remaining. But, I mean, hey, it worked well enough. You won the game. Might as well. And it'll make, uh, Curry Spirit's kid happy, so there's that. Grimstroke. That's something that makes me like the Jarrow a little bit more, actually. Nothing else, you get the double homing missiles now. Also means one of these three characters is secretly a core. That's true. It's Spirit Breaker. I mean, it might be, who knows. Taking a bit of time to uh, think this over on Team Hollywood. 
Randy, let's say you've got to pick a pause one in this round, and you're on the Hollywood team. You're 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 standing in for Matt. This round? Yeah, this round. Uh. Not this pick in particular, mine, but. I this hate pick or the next picking one. this round, pause one. I guess. Something that doesn't care about magic damage. I don't know. It's like a lot of nuke. A lot of nuke. I think you have to be somewhat conscious about the spear breaker as well. This is likely where they're uh, where they're picking here. I think they're saving carp for last. Damn, they're almost gonna run out the clock on this pick alone. They're thinking hard about it. I've seen, uh, seen a couple teams doing that. It's like. Uh... Think out the rest of the draft type position, I guess. Oh, they are going to pick Carp up here, actually. Yep. Well, good news. That means uh, you you get to uh, withhold your judgment on who you should pick until the last pick, perhaps. I mean, either that or they're going to pick Matt Zero here and then overall last pick of support. But that would be a little crazy. Damn, even all through all that time, they're still pretty unconfident about what to do next. Dipping into what little reserves they have. Five seconds of reserves left. Picking up the OD, huh? What, what's going on here, fellas? What is oh, this? OD. One of these guys is secretly a support. Damn, this is... Uh, what, you don't remember the classic Hollywood OD? Come on. This is, uh... I mean, hey, it could just as easily be the, uh... The classic turtle Zeus, you know? This is quite the uh, the matchup here. Mm -hmm. I mean, it could just as easily be Carb Zeus. I genuinely don't know. That's, uh, this is not a joke. It could be Carb Zeus, he plays that. It could be Carb OD, he plays that. It could be a bad in pause 3, we just summoned when he won it. It could be a bad in pause 5 or pause 4. We could be looking at the Holly Abaddon. So right now, uh, I, th I think you're not really going to very decisively know what the uh, Mac and Cheese lineup is going to run. You can make a prediction. But you're not going to decisively know what Mac and Cheese is going to run until the last pick. Except, it's probably Puzzle and last pick. I don't think I don't think God like Matt would be caught dead running Puzzle and Abaddon, to be honest with you. Thinking, thinking in response. Man, they had a lot of time. Like, Blade Fury Burgers, if you think about it, had like a million years to think about this pick. The, uh, they're going to yeah, pick Ricky. Ricky. This looks like an awesome yeah. Ricky game. I can't even blame them. They were Ricky, very nice. I mean, it's Ricky into Zeus, and that kind of sucks in, in one way, but on the other hand, it's like, literally, you just put, you put Smoke Cloud, and until all these guys have BKB, they do nothing. And he can also, uh... Is Sleeping Dart even still in the game, actually? I was about to make a comment and you get the double Sleeping Dart. No. Okay, I did not think so. Five seconds Good. Remaining. Does mean, sadly, the, uh... Well, sadly, on one hand, the Grimstroke ult combos in this game are not looking very inspiring. It's looking like the only thing you're gonna get is double homing missile, really. The upside is, is that Inkswell on Ricky is ridiculously good. Especially in a game that looks like this, you know, getting a bunch of people on that team in Smoke Cloud is bad enough. Like, any fight where there's more than two guys in a Smoke Cloud, Dyer is absolutely going to win. But you get more than two guys in a Smoke Cloud, and then an Inkswell pops inside of there, and it's like a, it's a, a massacre. This is a very good looking Ricky game. Definitely about this pick. Goodbye, Sand King. They don't want to see Ramanolo running that, running the uh, Legion Commander, which I think is his most played boss three. Banning out the Anti Mage. It's uh, pretty easy to guess who you're banning out. While it's uh, while it's hard to guess what you're looking at for the rest of the team, it's very easy to guess this is going to be a pause one. Or at least relatively easy. Again, possibility of a bad one does exist, but I would be very surprised. 
Especially against Ricky. A bad and pause one doesn't do anything to that guy. Ten seconds remaining. Bringing up their mid here. Alright, Randy, you got you had all the time in the world, right? Once this mid comes out, we better hear a pause one pick for you, what you would have picked if you were standing in for Matt this game. <laughs> yeah, sure. So you get paid the big bucks. Whereas, uh, as we call them the business, that's why you get paid the big bucks for Crux. Who's yeah, it looks like a Spectre game, honestly. It's just my opinion, but... It's not banned. Gonna run the clock out to the Please. last possible, so never mind. Picking a pause three here. So it's gonna be. It's like a so it's gonna be what, Gyro mid, I guess? You like Spike? You like Spectre and the Pit Lord? Huskar. Well, Matt likes Huskar, Huskar and the Pit Lord. Yeah, Huskar and the Pit Lord certainly sucks for Pit Lord. But uh, unfortunately, he just turned four people hate to be smoke clouded into five people hate to be smoke clouded. And now you also got the Pit of Malice you can put under the smoke cloud as well, just to make it even funnier. I... I don't know, Randy. I don't think I like that one. I like it into the Pit Lord, and I like it into nothing else on this team. And I can't even uh, carry late game like a spec can. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I'm not that big of a fan of Spectre into Pitlord either, but it's about a billion I times better than Huskar into Pitlord. You can literally kill everybody else on his team and then he's irrelevant. No, you can't because he's taking 35% of your damage away. Boohoo, I guess I have a Zeus. No, well, he, he buys one pi one item and Zeus doesn't do any damage anymore. It's support Zeus. Come on, bro. I'm flying people by pipes in these games. That's true. I mean, you'd be a little crazy not to get the pipe on the Pit Lord in this game. Look at all this. Like, you buy... You buy pipe in this game, and legitimately, all the damage they got left is Huskar, and you can just go all in on him. I don't think Ramanolo's crazy. At least I hope he isn't crazy. He might secretly be. I think I, uh, perhaps unsurprisingly, I think I'm going to have to favor the dire pick here. What do you think, Randy? Yeah, I don't, I don't like Husker. That's a pause one in general. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not high on the Husker pause one concept. It's like but it's just, until you get Grish. BKB, until you get BKB, this guy's just going to own you. That's the worst part about this. Until you get BKB, and even when you have it, when it's down, this guy's just going to own you. It just feels like a really cursed matchup. Like you're going to have to get a really good go on Ricky to get rid of him. He really don't get that good of a, of a way to deal with him. It's going to be Spear Breaker mid, by the way. <sighs> Wizard throws a blood grenade and then runs in a circle. Ice refuses to charge because he doesn't have it. Quite the level one smoke gank, I must say. Thirty seconds to battle. Oscar and VS V. What? Okay, they're. This is weird. Damn, Majwani got demoted. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> That's so messed up. They. Wow. Poor Majwani. <laughs> Okay. That's his boy. I think that's Hollywood's real life friend. That's uh, Carp getting first blooded. Lambert is bored one second into this game. This is a good opportunity to learn. My purpose fulfilled. 
And then everybody says all of their voice clips. Yeah, that's a little awkward. Spear Breaker, um, Spear Breaker benefited from that as well. He was part of that uh, assist. So he's walking this mid lane with uh, about a half a level on him already. Damn, that's such a such a, a tragedy, bro. What Majwani getting getting owned? I never thought that was gonna happen here. He picked that hero last game. <laughs> wow. Ow. Vote of no confidence. I would cry myself to sleep tonight. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. Majwani watching this cast, like, you know, I wasn't thinking about it that way at the time, but yeah. Well, Lambert fails to get lasted under tower, more at 11. I mean, again, if nothing else, the Huskar lanes into Pit Lord really well. But this is going to be one of these lanes for Pit Lord. All you're really going to be able to do is just kind of drop Q on waves and not interact with the enemy pause one at all. Could have potentially gotten that kill on the VS if the realize it was coming. I take what I please. Okay, you got that defusal blade queued up. Oh yeah. It was never yours. Apparently it was never mine though. Funny combat music? Why? Nobody's even close to each other on the map right now. <laughs> Worst funny combat music ever. Unless it just somehow knew Lambert was about to take a couple of random casts. Turtles on pause 3 of Adden gets Mist Coil level 2. Fascinating. Uh, Pit Lord. Pit Lord has pressed no buttons. He's actually gonna love this, so. You're definitely gonna... Like, you cannot... You can absolutely not start out this lane any other way on this pit lore besides getting, uh... Least the Heart of Tur The Heart Trask... The Ring of Tarask. A heart would be a very good item to pull out a lane phase, to say the least. Ring of Tarask and Cloak. I think you just absolutely need that to, like, live here. Wizard, I think, tries to take one for the team. I don't know how... Taken this is. Okay, they're gonna get the Zeus. Would've been funny if that had done enough damage for Ricky to die, but sadly no such luck. He's gonna get, uh... He thinks about getting raindrops and then he sells them immediately because he realizes this is LD2L. Well, nobody buys that here. Except Blizzard in the last game. Where's he getting two braces and raindrops? Okay, you know what, Ramanolo? That's fine, bro. I am okay with that. Would have preferred to see what I said, but that is a totally acceptable substitute if you for some reason do not want it. Sure. Man, I'm gonna get a little bashed up here. It's pretty bad of bad in lane. It's uh it's amazing. Again, there are not many bad of bad in lanes. These guys managed to find two of them here. Ricky can just keep basically just Engage on you when he wants, and kite on you when he wants, and you don't have much of ability to stop him. And the Grimstroke just has a stun that you... that might hit two people, which is not what you want. You like those single target abilities. Has another thing that's not a single target ability, and has an annoying-ass Phantom's Embrace that really reminds you that at the end of the day, you still attack really slowly. Okay, Lambert does not care about the Curse of Avernus here at all, actually. Zeus getting a good juke here. Lambert says, I don't care, I just want tomato. As uh, the Grimstroke gonna go down. Lambert really was trying hard to get the uh, get his support killed there. I don't know if you noticed that. But he was trying really hard to pop the Aphotic Shield and get Grim killed.
This is one of these situations where the support trade did not favor the uh, the Poslin at all, as Zeus came up way too fast. He died way before the Grimstroke. Oh my god, Ice with 18 HP! Oh my god. Yeah, I know, bro! Con El Wombo Combo Perfecto. Those raindrops worth their weight in gold. Or, rather, worth a lot more, perhaps, than their weight in gold, because I cannot imagine infused raindrops weigh very much. Basically, what I'm saying is that it was very high value. And, uh, Bitlord no doubt inspired buys another set for himself. The Huskar is pretty much free farming down here, nothing stopping him at all, but that's pretty much just exactly what you'd expect. Romanolo, to his credit, does have uh, more or less the same amount of last as Sabaddon, and doesn't have the, uh, the two deaths, so there's that. He also lacks the kill. Actually, the two kills. Ben thought about cursing this catapult, but decided to spare it at the last possible moment. So really where you're at is the Abaddon in this lane, like... I don't know if you saw that, uh... That gut reaction there, but, uh, Grimstroke put the ink swell on Ricky, and Abaddon's response was to immediately walk at a blink range, and... Therefore, yeah. XP range. Three guys here at bot. Not exactly sure, sure why. Ben. Yes, uh, interesting charge going on, uh, going on Matt. I don't think they have a great idea that the Zeus is here. I don't think they care that the Zeus is here, actually. Can they, can can they go down. That's absolutely not what I expected. Yeah, me neither. Ben's gonna get the wisdom rune. Spearbreaker going in for round two on this very low VS. It's just going to die. Hollywood is gonna try and uh, reach out and get the revenge kill, but Spearbreaker is just gone too fast. I mean, I don't think I need to tell you this, but uh, having like having one stun, one jail, and a mini stun against the uh, Actually, I don't think Lightning even does that anymore, does it? No, it does not. So, having one stun and one jail against a Spear Breaker is a little scuffed. They're pulling everyone in the world here to bot. Even Lambert is uh, in on this party now. Ricky is here. Dyer uh, does not want to take a 4v5 under the Radiant Tower, surprisingly. I'm not really sure how they have vision on him right now. Okay, now it's very apparent as Zeus plays a sentry. And uh, then Gyrocopter gets tipped for some reason? He's not, he's not the one who dove the tower, my friend. That Laura gets the mana boots. And is uh, going exactly where he should be in this circumstance, which is to say, away. There's nothing to be gained here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Where was the Pit Lord Express for that? Oh no, that's bad communication in a nutshell. No charge, nor a uh, Pit Lord ult on, this, on the Huskar there. You hate to see it. At least they're gonna bully the Abaddon a little bit. The Spirit Breaker just ulted the Abaddon uh, during, his, during Abaddon's ult, but we'll pretend that didn't happen. Yes, gonna go down. Ban just gonna get bashed out of existence. Picks up his uh, base boots. In general, losing that kill on the Huskar, as big of an opportunity as I was, probably well made up for it in uh, what followed. Though it is notable. Ice is, despite all the kills, Ice is net worth not actually very good here. Game didn't know what to do there. Man, this OD 
No! Absolutely not what I expected. No, you should pick that up so Ricky can complain about it. That OD was the second highest net worth in the game and just got eliminated with a nasty thought there, it felt like. Dyer is starting death ball and it's a little hard to tell exactly how to stop it. Pitlord is queuing up that Chivas immediately, which is not too bad here. You know, the thing, uh, thing I have been trying to say and have gotten it out on and off in, a, in the last couple weeks. Chivas is not a super good broken tier item right now because it's uh, good in every game. Some games Shiva's is not even really that good in it at all. Shiva's is pretty god tier right now. Okay, goodbye, Pit Lord. Shiva's is pretty god tier right now because in the games where Shiva's is useful, it's like perfect. Like, it's not always on, but when it's on, it's a hit. It's amazing. Once again, going to have this little meeting of the minds here. And once again, nobody cares on the Dyer. This is such an easy kill. He died of creeps. That's how easy of a kill it is. And they're looking at the, uh, looking at a Zeus instead. Very odd uh, decision making here, I must be honest. They just do not respect the Huskar in the slightest. They do not think he's going to be a big deal at all. Neither do I. I mean, yeah, that's true, but if there's going to be a game, it's going to be because of him. It's not going to be the Abaddon who has support net worth, or the OD who dies in a half second. I can promise you that much. Pretty good Grimmolt there. Just uh, stops any hope of a retreat coming out here. Ben is going to ult and get all of his health back, but somehow I don't think he's too happy about that. For some reason. On El Wombo Combo Perfecto. Well, Spirit Breaker's got in mind it's gonna solve his being at the being surprisingly low on the net worth charts problem, and uh, yeah, that's exactly the combo I was talking about earlier. You get a smoke cloud, you get the Pit Lord Pit on top of it, and uh, most of these guys just kind of die as a result. There's not really any counterplay to this for a very long time. Like until BKB. If you're on Radiant, that kills you. That's as simple as it gets. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Ben doesn't even have ult for 18 seconds. This could be very sad. Spear Breaker coming back in. Five, four, no. Yeah, not even close. Con El Wombo combo, perfecto. Radiant structures are fortified. Halo Discord now up on the Pit Lord. Getting quite close to the Shivas. Radiant's middle tower. Radiant's middle tower has fallen. Three smokes coming out. Okay, well they suddenly care about Matt now. They also just saw him TP to the mid wave. Look at the minimap, guys. Oh, they suddenly care about Matt now, after uh, not caring about him all through lane phase. Six to sixteen. Six K net worth advantage, lots of sixes going on. Also Pitlord Express here in the middle of the trees. I think uh, Radiant sees it coming and they are moving the hell out of dodge right now. VS gets found, VS gets killed. I hear Huskar noises, but I don't see Huskars. See, yeah, he's just doing these Ancients. That's a little risky, but nobody's looking to punish him right now when there's a much more juicy looking Hollywood. Yep. Feels like this team's getting a little cut up trying to figure out exactly who they want to go for, which in fairness, it's not a bad problem to have when you're just killing everybody you walk into anyway. But an organizational issue like that and a more competitive uh, set of draft, like a more competitive draft could hurt you quite a bit. Is 
Spear Breaker versus a bat, never mind. Lambert is just being a bully at this point. He's gonna get what he deserves, maybe. Nah, he's fine, they're not... This is like a bluff and they don't actually realize that. Which one are you getting chased, like, this far? You're getting chased all the way to D3s. Abaddon in the jungle. Like, looked like it was gonna be okay. A little okay go into the Spear Breaker there, but uh, now that the whole team's here, not so much. Gonna charge into him to give him all his health back, but once again, somehow I can't imagine he's very happy about this. He's going for BKB first, which is completely untenable. You just can't do that on a bat, I'm sorry. <laughs> Literally zero impact if you do this. I don't care if you live for three more seconds in fights. Grimstro quite close to his shard at this point. Bitlord standing tantalizingly close to a bounty rune refuses to get it. Yep, just walks away. What a chad. Ricky is walking around in the middle of the entire enemy team. Is just so far beyond caring at this point. Like, look at this. Ricky wants this. Look at this mini-map. Ricky wants this. And, uh... Ricky gets it. Gonna get it, yeah. It's all cool. Radiant's top tower is under attack. I'm Otta Tips, says Lambert. You meant Outta. Spear Breaker getting a uh, haste rune. <laughs> Attack pause. Goodness. Doordash. Bouncy. The hell kind of puzzles that? Somebody better have actually died. <laughs> That that just Lord happened. Dash. That just happened so Lambert could yell at his team for a little bit about not being there with him. No, 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 Doordash. There we go. Literally just happened so Lambert could just sit there and tilt on Mike. You sons of bitches! I was waiting for you. You never came. How am I gonna show my face in town after getting solo killed? That's what was going on. And also, he got his DoorDash order. He was saying the same thing to the DoorDash guy. Radiance courier has been killed. Luckily, My by an fucking team just let <laughs> fucking die. Luckily, by an amazing turn of coincidence, his uh, his delivery driver was ice. Now, his his delivery d driver was DJ Curry Spirit. He's even get he's even got his little uh, delivery automobile right now, so. Dyer desperately wants somebody to be in the GG jungle. Nobody is home. Where'd uh, Ricky just go? Oh, he's just doing the GG jungle, okay. This always happens to Hollywood. Literally every time, Ho wow, that was a split kill, nice. Literally every time Hollywood's shown his face, it feels like in the, you know, somewhere close to, like, the middle of the map, he just kind of died. Feels like. Bottom tower is under attack. Matt is staying on parity for money, for, what's that, for what that's worth. Oscar only a couple of hundred gold removed from the Spear Breaker here. The Ricky above him. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. So weird thing to say, as uncompetitive as this match has felt for the most part, well that is just how far gone a bad is at this point. 
He's still insisting on this BKB, which is just... I mean, you've got the Ogre Club, you can always, you know, that's all I'm saying, bro. All I'm saying. But T2 gonna go down here. Mid T1 gonna go down. Quite a good tower trade, if you don't think about it. Shiva's Garden's now finished. Abaddon is uh, now getting bullied. Going to get all of his HP back. Double Silence comes out from the Grimstroke ult as uh, VS fades into the ether. Yeah. Abaddon begs of Ernest for forgiveness. I don't know if he's going to get it after this kind of performance, to be honest with you. Got the Octoring Core out on the Spirit Breaker for even more charges. Shiva's Guard finished up on the Pit Lord. The OD feels quite considerably behind, unfortunately. And he's not even re it's not even really true. He's not even actually that far behind if you look at the uh, look at the scoreboard. I mean, the problem really just is he's just this is just such a bad outdraft. This combo with the uh, the smoke cloud and the kill is so effective. The one guy who's getting a relatively early BKB is the one guy who can actually live through it and gets no help from it. Neither the OD nor the uh, Huskar. Okay, Huskar is going for it now. So there's that. He also needs to get rid of all this crap in his inventory, but neither here nor there. Ricky says, okay, enough clowning around. Let's just get done with this. As his Manta style, which uh, Baden can only wish he had at this point. The Radiant believe that uh, the Dyer are doing Roche, but unfortunately still think Roche is in his really old position where he's in like that little cave on the right side of the river, so uh, Scan comes out somewhat inaccurately. You remember that era where the Roche pit was like here? Yeah, That's some yeah. good time. Oh my good. god. Somebody picked that fucking thing up, huh? Ricky takes the Aegis. Spirit Breaker across the map at the moment. We're gonna take the Pitlord Express up to top, but once again these guys are fleeing. Hollywood must go. Attack pause. Dordish. He accidentally said solo kill. Wrong key behind Hollywood. Radiance top tower is under attack. Right, now you're just gonna eat this uh, T2 here. I have a very concerning feeling that the next Radiance thing that happens in this game is that Dyer just kills this and then kills everybody. Radiant's trying to uh, come around here. They're actually gonna die into this tormentor. He just got spotable doing it as well. Where are you going, buddy? This is the wrong time to leave. All right, pulling out. Great. Guess they don't want to do this anymore after they uh, look so much to their health on the Tormentor. What a terrible fucking objective. Please remove these from the game. They're <laughs> so trash. Mechanism now on hand for the Pit Lord. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. What what do they think is here? Why do they care? They're nowhere even kinda close to that. What's going on? C O Randy, uh Gyrocopter just sent us a secret message. It says co oh. Let me give you a hint. 
They're not coming down from uphill. Probably ever again. Now they want to do their own tormentor. Just to make you happy. Should really tell you how good of an objective this is, but literally the only time anyone ever does it is when they have nothing else to do. What a good addition to the game. Shroud up on Ricky. Oh, that's very nice. That's gonna stop OD from saving people in the smoke cloud. Not like that's really been the case so far in this game anyway, but... Lord Express coming out here, looking at uh, old Hollywood. I like that uh, little combo there. Now that's going to save Hollywood's life. I mean, it was the other team's combo anyway. Con El Wombo combo perfecto. Ricky just like dodged the, the Huskar ult there. And it actually put Huskar's ult on cooldown. Not like it matters, it's only a couple seconds, but uh... Fortunately, this wave is in a horrible spot and they're gonna have to wait a while to actually push this out. In fact, they're gonna have to wait so long to push this out, it's so early in this game that Zeus and Vias are gonna be back up by the time they actually get to go again. oscar has got his BKB, so you're not going to do the funny combo on him anymore. He's no longer in the uh, exclusive club of people who die when Ricky cues them. Poor Zeus. Never mind, Zeus is fine. Poor Lambert. I'd say that was bait, but they have to actually win this fight for it to be bait. Yeah. Maybe they do, this is a huge 9 second BKB, they lost so much of their damage against them, and Spearbreaker is not even here. So we'll kill. Uh, VS gets really excited and swaps absolutely nobody, it doesn't really matter. Gotta give you a chase. Can't. Spelling. The inevitable. Good question. Matt is going to take this power play to uh, try and get some more kills, but unfortunately, cannot actually do anything oh, no. to this, Phil Lord. Spearbreaker's after him, but Matt's hasted, so he doesn't really care that much. Got there, kind of popped in, in an awkward place here. This is not going to get out of this one this time. He's now back up. Unfortunately, from where we're positioned now, Dyer is going to have to drag this game out just so people in the Radiant are dead long enough to go uphill. <laughs> As it stands, the picks don't really matter when you're just getting the Zeus and the VS and the Abaddon, and they all have three second respawn timers because they're level nothing. The OD here, trying really hard to get rid of this OD, actually. You're going very deep. Confusing skills coming out all around. Ricky makes it out. Spearbreaker deep in, but uh, he pulls out as well. Take out the uh, OD here, and then it's time to get back again. Guess we could not close out this week's recordings without another hopeless uphill. Of course. Let's, uh, let's all say it together, shall we? Oscar is never going to be a th real threat to this guy unless he's taken a 1v5. 
Eventually, Gyrocopter is going to start scaling into core territory. Nobody on uh, Radiance really going to do that. Abaddon doesn't do anything this game. No matter how tough OD gets, he's never going to stop dying instantly. He's going to get his BKB out, though, which is going to push his game even longer, at least. It would take an, an act of God and massive throws on the part of the Dyer to actually win this game. There is, It is not in the situation where Radiant is at any point going to be able to get out on their own victory. Dyer has the throw. Ricky's got his eggs. See what Gabe says. Gives Hollywood a 2% chance to win. BS getting uh, bull hit on the sideline here. Tries to take out a ward before she dies and she uphill misses. That's the saddest thing I've ever seen. She didn't even get that. Contract complete! Okay. I don't know why Ricky just said that. But uh, good news, Randy. Contract is complete. Good news, Randy. OD is getting charged again. Yep. And he gets silenced before he gets his jail out, and his BKB is not actually up yet. It was just shy of it. That's slightly unfortunate. Your spirit like your life is broken, OD can buy back. El Wombo Combo Perfecto is con. I was trying to say uh, El Wombo Combo as Perfecto, but instead I said a sentence that means even less than that somehow. Ben's gonna ding. Hit his BKB. Realize that he's a bad one with BKB and nothing else. And then glumly trudge back to spawn. Grim's Cult is gonna stop him from even doing that much. Goodbye, a bad one. No buyback. VS looking very low on the sidelines. Yep. He's gonna go down here. Oscar has decided the man he must go for is the Spirit Breaker, a target he has arguably one of the least chances of actually killing. They're gonna actually take down the Ricky, trying to get him here. He just cannot soak up all the T4 damage, which means this completely unwinnable game for Hollywood gets to go on even longer now. Hell yeah. Which means we're doing this for some reason. Thousand gold into uh, Hollywood team's pockets. At least it's going to the right people on that team, I guess. Well, a bad one would have been nice, but Radiant I mean, scanning. look at what the item guide says. I mean, what can I tell you? Double damage. And they're now going to do Roche, and uh, I hope just end after that. Oh no, they're going to kill VS, and then they're going to Roche. This game isn't even long. This is 33 minutes and it's annoying me that they're holding out just because it's so impossible. Oscar gets sacks. Ricky gets Aegis. Oscar eggs is actually really good. It's a pretty good reliable way to kill Ricky if his team can't bail him out. They've shown themselves to have some trouble, or perhaps maybe more accurately, Ricky has shown himself to have some trouble not falling for that. Roche's banner coming out here. Pit Lord uh, managing the top lane while this is happening. Spear Breaker managing mid. Confluence of all three lanes at once. It's a good strategy when one of your towers here is very low, like they can't really turn their attention away from this tower for very long, they're gonna lose it. Pit Lord Pipe comes out. But he finishes a Hurricane Harbor Pike. I'll well, just fight him when I speed at least. Huskar just sold to the creep. Glad we watched this fight in 1x speed so we can see that. 
Ice is in so deep, you'd think he has the Aegis. OD's gonna go down here very casually, actually, on the retreat. Does not yep. actually have a uh, buyback either. Very unfortunate. The amazing part is that somehow Dyer does not have a single set of racks yet. That was the first. We go on the Huskar here. Huskar does not have his BKB up for a while to come, and in fact doesn't have his life either. They're all gonna go down, and I have a funny feeling in my... No, they're still not GGN? Really? Is it just to annoy me? You can be honest. Okay, there we go. I mean, uh, I hate to say open and shut case, but this one seemed like a pretty open and shut case to me. Most of the uh, slips made. Thank you for accommodating. Schedule Chagney. True. Most of the most of the upsides, unfortunately, uh, for the Hollywood team came from the from taking advantage of uh, Slips of Blade Fury Burgers made. I don't think they really were able to. I mean, I don't think there was a reality where they could make many holes for themselves here. It's just such a bad outdraft. The Abaddon build was unfortunately just the exact opposite of what you wanted. When they did start getting a little bit of momentum, I mean, the biggest anchor around it was that all Abaddon could do was survive for a couple of seconds in a fight. Let me tell you what you don't do when your Abaddon build looks like this. Anything. You go dang. Get a little longer, that's it. 8k hero damage on this guy as a result, aka lower than Grimstroke. <laughs> Just, uh. Not the situation you want for Ben. I just don't think you can do that. Oh, I think Randy might have missed the end of that game, actually. Nice, this girl was chugging. Oh, well. Yeah, the abandoned build just can't... I mean, even when you're down... Like, as a pause three in general, it sucks to build an early BKB in general. But you cannot do it when you're this far down. You just have to build something that's going to help you dig back up. Because this is, uh... This is a shovel, all right, but, uh... So only a shovel lets you dig your own grave. In a game that looks like this. I think Blade Fury Burgers actually did show a little bit of weakness here. I think they just got a little overexcited. I mean, I think they just figured they won from pick phase, and they were probably right. But, like, yeah. the decision to let Huskar just randomly live a couple of times near the end of lane phase when they had two global abilities is a little suspect. Ricky's four deaths, like, three of those just came from when he just randomly dove into five. They definitely have to keep themselves a little bit more disciplined and a little bit mo more under control when they're on the upside. I mean, if they're on the upside and they start playing like that in a more competitive game, it can bite them in the ass really fast. And that's definitely what it is, it's just showboating. It's, uh, it's everybody's saying we got this in the bag, we can do whatever we want. I'm very convinced that's what that is. I, I'm very... I'm overtly familiar with three of these players, and I'm decently enough familiar with Ice. New to Curry Spirit, but... I know these players well enough to know they're not making rookie mistakes like that just for no reason. They're just getting excited, and hey, I mean, they won, so you can't you can't poop on them too much for it. But you got to keep it in your pants until the party's actually over. You know what I mean? <laughs> Don't give them a game. Don't give a down team a game. This looked like it, it got dangerously close to giving a down team a game at points. You know, is where I'm going with that. Anything, Dad? Huskar useless hero. Don't pick it. If you or somebody you know wants to learn how to do at a casual or more competitive level, go to ld2l.gg to sign up today. Uh, since nobody wanted to see the In the Pool Reedy game, that's it for this week. We will see you uh, Sunday for whatever our live game's gonna be. And, uh... 
Randy, before we go, how about you tell everybody a really cool anecdote or a really lame anecdote or uh, just, just don't have any anecdotes. Give, give a sorry. shout out then. Give, give a shout out to, to to one of your good friends in the world. Shout out to our sponsor, uh, Carl Jr. No, our sponsor was you Hate fresh. and War. Remember? No, no, you fresh. That's not even. We'll you see fresh. you next week. <laughs>